June 23, 2018. Came back to work, ready to work. I was off for four days and it looked like work had slowed down instrumentally. I had this thought that I just couldn't kill. And when I approached people outside of my wife, I was received with a wave of negativity. And it's okay. It was okay. And it still is okay. But you might be asking yourself, how is that okay? Let's find out on today's Team Hit Squad podcast. My name is Lloyd Knox. You are a wonderful audience. And I want to thank you all. Today is Thursday, 12 13, 2018. This is episode number nine. And it looks like we will actually be completing the five podcast a week um, metric that I set for myself. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to do it in the first uh, week that we started this podcast for the fact that we were just trying to arrange everything. But I'm not going to get too much into that. So before we get this entire episode started, I want to give a quick shout out to our sponsors, Anabolic Skate. You can check them out at anabolicskate.com. When you use Hit Squad TV, you get yourself 10% off. So check out their wheels, check out all of their products. They're incredible people. EmpireSkateShop.com. You can check out Empire. They have an amassed amount of skates from Rydell, Moxie. Whatever you are looking for, they got it. EmpireSkateShop.com. And when you use the code word HITSQUADTV, you get yourself 10% off. RollerCon.com. RollerCon is coming July 17th to the 21st in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. This is going to be our fifth year going to be there. And you all should be there whether it's your first or your 12th time. Make sure you are there. Is it July yet? Mota Skates for the skater. By the skater and bigotournament.com. Big O Tournament is May 3rd all the way to May 5th, and they will be live streaming it as well. So if you aren't able to make it out there, make sure you get the live stream. We currently have Team Hit Squad shirts available as well as the Mr. Testosterone Just Spin t shirt. It's currently on sale for $20. It ships worldwide. All we need is your name, your size, your address, and the $20, and you can send that to paypal.me slash hit squad tv and we are we will get you hooked up and looking great in some team hit squad gear hit squad university east will be happening on january 6 2019 the people that we will have there are coach victor dutch speed Bryu, dizzy izzy hometown phenom olivia glisten and I'll be there teaching videography as well as helping the young kids grow their brand as an athlete. And newly added coach number 111 from New Jack City, Jacksonville Roller Derby, Jam Sterella. The address of the place is 1779 North Spring Garden Avenue. And that is in D-Land, Florida. And that is for Hit Squad University. And that's going to be happening on Sunday, January 6, 2019. Hit Squad TV as well as the Alley Gallery are throwing a roller derby art show being thrown by, once again, Hit Squad TV and the Alley Gallery. And that is in Pomona, right by the Glass House. A mural of Hit Squad TV and roller derby will be painted on the wall by the phenomenal Cloak. He actually has a battle next Tuesday, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> as far as his art is concerned. So we will get all that information and send it all to you to make sure to support this uh, wonderful artist. There will be photographs from Tough Girls on Eight Wheels, Michael Weiss, Tristan King, and the angry artist will have some art on display as well. Check out all of the art, including the art that's outside, because on that particular day, they open all of the art galleries for you to go check everything out. Get you some culture in your life. Um, I'll have a few stories of some of my favorite moments in the sport and the importance of growing the sport through junior participation. The address of the place is 101 South Main Street, Pomona, California. One more time, the address is 101 South Main Street, Pomona, California. Once again, it's a roller derby art show thrown by the good people at the Alley Gallery in downtown Pomona and Hit Squad TV. We also do have a new Team Hit Squad album called Black Hoodie Blues 2. 
and it's an instrumental album created by me, Lloyd Knox. It will be released in January 2019, so keep an ear out for that, and it'll be available on all streaming and downloading sites. I'm very excited about this, and the reason why it's called Black Hoodie Blues 2 is because uh, I believe it was 2012? Yes, January, not January, June 2012, we released um, my first album with my best friend, and we appropriately called ourselves The New Danger, and we released our album Black Hoodie Blues, and I decided to continue the tradition and make it Black Hoodie Blues 2. It isn't as heavily blues driven, but I still wanted to keep the name and still wanted to continue the process. So, now that we got all of that fun stuff out of the day, out of the way, I should say, let's talk about today's subject. Why don't people support you? <clears throat> I had to clear my throat for that one real quick. All right. I quit my job during lunchtime. I was sitting in the truck and I was thinking to myself on why I was still working here. My biggest reason was because I had to. I had to support family, had to feed my child, you know, and I had to keep up to the social standards, I guess, nine to fives. If you don't have a nine to five, you are worthless. You know, that was really my biggest reason why I had to. And the other reason, which was a major reason, was I was waiting on a position that, quite frankly, never came. I was told, and not necessarily promised, I was just told a VR position with this company that was coming out to Long Beach. They, there was a position ready, and I was very excited for it. And I started making plans like, yo, June 2018, I'm out of here. I could finally live my best life. You know, and after an entire year of waiting, June 2018 was the date. June 1st. I waited by the phone and I got no call. And it never came. The company was dealing with issues on the East Coast. It wasn't planning on coming out here for at least another year or even more. And as a matter of fact, I still talk to the company to this day. They don't look like they're coming out here at any point, any time. So, you know, I the company was dealing with all those issues, like I was saying. I was lost at my job for three weeks. You know, from June 1st to June 23rd, I was there. And I did not want to be there. You could see it physically. I was disappointed. I was angry. I was sad. I was mad at the world and I had these emotions and feelings like, why would life do this to me? I quickly changed my mentality because remember, you can always change the outcome of your scenario by simply looking at things a little differently. I decided that after waiting and waiting, I walked back in, gave my supervisor a handshake and I said I quit. My supervisor knew that I did filming and... He pretty much said, good luck. Come back and tell me how it is and how it's going. Those might not be the words of encouragement my mind made up during a dream that I had about a month ago about how this exact moment would go, but it was exactly what I needed to hear. November 2018, I go back and he's right there. We give a handshake bring each other in, give a big hug, and he asked me, how's it going? I told him how everything was going, and he pretty much said, I knew you had it in you. And the best advice that I got from him at that point was, just don't be satisfied with where you are. Be uncomfortable. It's the best way to grow. We chatted for about 20 minutes, caught up with each other's lives. Then we went our separate ways. He owned his own inventory business with breweries and distilleries before he was working there. He knew what it meant to work under your own flag. We always spoke here and there on how to handle scenarios and situations involving business practices, etc. But the one thing that he taught me was that no one believed in him, even his own father that was doing the exact same business in a different state. That's cold-blooded. But he said that the one thing he enjoyed was no one believing in him. I can dig that. 
you know, when when I quit my job, June 23, got in the car, I drove home. <clears throat> Me and my wife spoke about it beforehand. And she said that she would support me with any decision that I make as long as I could cover my side of the house payment. And I agreed. And I remember in November of 2017, I was going to originally quit there. I was like, I was believing myself. I was, I was feeling myself. I had just came back from a trip from Mexico from filming the... Asociación Mexicano de Roller Derby's um, national tournament. And I was on top of the world. And I had teams that were communicating with me, saying that they wanted to bring me out and do that. And I was ready to call my job and be like, hey, I'm not going to make it anymore. I quit. But I hung up my phone really fast because I was, I, I didn't, I didn't know how it would come out. And that was a very scary feeling. At the same time, I didn't understand what that feeling was that was next to it, but it was excitement and I didn't understand it. I, I mistakenly took it for fear and I didn't quit. I continued to go and, you know, it wasn't until another, what was that, seven months until I actually had the nerve to do it going on eight months. I finally got the nerve to do it. That's probably the only regret I have as of right now for the past five years was why didn't I quit sooner? And one of the reasons was I commented, I remember bringing these, th this scenario up with them like, hey, how do you feel if I, like, what do you think about this scenario? Like, what if I quit my job and start doing this? People are like, no, why? Well, no, no, no. What do you mean? What do, what do you mean? What do you mean? What's going on? Do you need some money or why don't you do this as a part time? And it was very frustrating hearing that because they want to believe in me. I could tell they've always seen me as a very passionate person and whatever I put my hands into, I generally make it a success depending on what your term and definition of success is. But it was a success. And when I would bring this question up to people, my closest friends, even the people that were in the industry of roller derby were like, no, why? Why would you why would you do that? There's no money in roller derby. There's aren't you scared? Like your son, is he gonna eat? Are you gonna eat? What's going on? And I I realized where they were coming from and it scared me, so I didn't quit. So June 23rd, my emotions were like, I don't care. I'm done. I'm done waiting. I'm done waiting on people. I'm, I don't care about if people care or has an opinion on my life. You know what I mean? And I quickly put my head down and I just went to work. I quit. And that same day, I got on my grind. I started making documents. I started making videos. I started making promotional material for different companies to try and hire me so I can develop that steady cash flow that'll cover my minimum expenses in life. And then anything else excess, we can put it into the company and try and help it grow. Because I mean, from the very beginning, from November 2014, when Hit Squad TV started and we were with, with the little GoPro, my mind state was always professional. Be professional. You're a business. This is a business. Treat yourself like a business. And so far, we're doing pretty well, really well. We're growing at an exponential pace, and I'm very happy about that. And I wanted to share with you these tips that I read, and it made so much sense to me. And these are the seven tips on how to deal with people when they don't believe in you. And this article is from tinybuddha.com, so make sure you check them out. Number one. Your passion is your priority. I like to call that the what if scenario. You ever hear people say, I wish I would have done this when I was younger. I wish I had the courage back then. 
those are the clues to listen to your heart. Like those, those are the clues that you should be listening to. So many people don't go for things they feel in their heart of hearts belongs to them because they're afraid of what can happen to them, not realizing they're setting themselves up for that dreaded what if scenario. This goes well beyond your dreams. This can be used in relationships in everyday life. What if I paid attention to my spouse more? What if I took that job that required me to move from out of state or even out of my own comfort zone? Your passion should always be your priority. Go for it. Fail. But you won't ever know what you are made of truly if you don't make that jump. You don't make that commitment. You don't want to wake up at 40 and look back and be like, man, I wish I could have altered my, my road by doing this decision and that decision. And what's cool is that even if you're 40, 50, whatever, you can change. You still can change certain outcomes. There's some things that are completely out of our reach, but we can change our mind on how we look at scenarios and situations. And you'll see that things get easier for you when you start trying to, instead of change the scenario, you start changing your mindset about it. Now, that type of mindset can't be used for every single thing. This is just for this particular subject. So don't use it on everything. Use common sense. <laughs> so number two, life is short. That's, that's kind, of very, uh, kind of very common common knowledge thing but hear me out do you really want to spend your time like feeling down over others words when they're completely unwarranted baseless and probably not making any kind of sense do you really want to pull back on following your dreams or doing what you want because of others and start living a life that probably doesn't fulfill your own potential and quite honestly if you're not paying my bills, you really have no say in what I do. I understand they're doing it in their fear of my own well-being, but that's their fear. Their fear is nothing compared to my own fears. And even bigger, my own will to succeed. Remember that. Write that down. Tattoo it on your arm or something like that. Whenever you feel down, remember that. The fear of others is not compared to my own will to succeed. Remember that life's short. And it will be easier to stick to your own convictions when other people disagree with your choices or try to put you down for those choices. We have to be strong. We have to believe in ourselves. And I know sometimes it's very difficult to believe in ourselves because no one's ever lived our life and told us the outcome of our life scary but those things that scare you shouldn't stop you they should propel you to change the the scariness into comfortability and once you become comfortable in that you keep moving until you start feeling uncomfortable again because that's the only way that you can grow you're going to hear that again later on number three Others may not fully understand. Hear me out. People who don't support you and discourage you may not actually be bad people who intentionally want to destroy your dreams. Sometimes they just don't understand why you do what you do. So they voice their concerns, which makes them seem a little dissenting. At the end of the day, we all have different visions of what comfort, stability, and being wealthy is. Sometimes this becomes the biggest challenge for us as humans. Being uncomfortable with people telling you they don't understand your passion. You have the power to control the situation and outcome of the exchange. At first it can be frustrating that people might not feel the way you feel about your vision and that's all right. It really is. If they told me their passion they had about Mushu from Mulan, I'd be like, but why though? I'm not trying to disrespect the person's dream. I really want to know why you would sacrifice everything for the Eddie Murphy dragon lizard. 
you can approach the situation in two ways. One, calmly explain your passionate about it, like calmly explain it. Or number two, just simply ignore it. It might be a cop out to say that you ignore it, but honestly, when it comes to your dreams, ignorance is bliss. Have tunnel vision with your vision. If you find yourself getting angry as you are trying to explain it because these people aren't giving you the the like, oh, no way, look. You know what I mean? Like, don't feel discouraged. Calmly explain what you are trying to do if you even feel like doing that. And if you do, that actually makes you a little more powerful than anything. When you have this confidence behind your voice explaining what you love to do and how you can do it. I remember saying, I think 2015, we were just going into year two of Hit Squad TV and someone asked me what I did for a living and I said like, oh yeah, I do this. I, you know, I work at this uh, uh, window company and I also do roller derby videography and this and that. And I would remember trying to kind of downplay everything. That's how, that's how I always been for whatever reason. I always try to downplay either skills or things that happen, like just downplay the situations. And now I can't, I'm excited to talk to people that aren't in roller derby about what I do, how I make money off of it and how we're growing past roller derby. And people generally get excited because it depends on your confidence. Like when I talk to people, my back is straight. My eyes are locked into your eyes. I'll look away every so often to kind of break eye contact. But I generally always try to have eye contact with people, especially when I'm explaining my dream because I'm letting them know how serious and passionate I am about it. And You'll be surprised when you start explaining it to them and you have that confidence. It might sway them your way. Try it. Just try it. Numero quattro. Sometimes others are insecure. The views and reflections on you by others isn't a true reflection on you. It's a reflection of them and how they handle situations. Mainly in this situation change and insecurities some people feel like they're trapped in their nine to fives they wanted to start their own business or their own practice or organization but the same thing we are trying to avoid in this conversation they actually fell into it now they see you and they explain their own experiences and how it wastes their time and energy don't listen to them you really want to be that person or a person that speaks positively Do you want to be the person that helps uplift people into their dreams or the ones that are trying to pull them down to their own level just so they don't feel or, yeah, they don't really feel lonely in their own chaos? The decision is yours. It really is. Number five, remember anything is possible. Might sound kind of corny, but I want you to hear me out on this. No one can predict the future. Not even the psychics like Miss Cleo back in the early 2000s. So with that in mind, remember, anything is possible. I went from the age of 23, lost, alone, nothing going for me, no vehicle, left a terrible relationship, no job, nothing, 23, zero. My friends were graduating. My friends had their diplomas. They were looking into purchasing their own houses. They had their things together. Five years later, I'm traveling, I'm playing music. I'm doing what I love. Working a job part time, I had no family to take care of, no child. I found a passion, and within that passion, I realized how powerful my mind really is. When I really set myself to do something, I don't just do it. I destroy it, and I own it. Four years later, 
I'm making commercials and promotional videos for companies in and out of Roller Derby. We have 18,000 followers on our three social medias, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. I didn't predict that. I didn't predict my life's trajectory. 23, lost and alone. 28, traveling, playing music. 32, I'm making roller derby videos and films and promotional stuff. We have 18,000 followers. That was 17,000 more than what we had for my band. You know, I didn't predict that. But what I did predict was my hustle. I did predict that when I set my mind to something, no one can stop me. And coming from a music background, always being told no. Always being told you can improve. And I'm not saying like a coach, you know, like uh, if you're in Derby and you have a coach, like, oh, you can do it. Just keep trying. No, there is no comfort. There is no lovingness to it. People told you you sucked. Your art, your passion, what you are saying on your songs, on your lyrics that you're writing down, they suck. And no one's going to buy it. And the hardest truth was when no one bought it. That crushed me. But it made me so much stronger because honestly, if I can create something like this, fail, and still come out with a positive sense of emotion and, and purpose, I won. And I started learning how to become better at what I wanted to do. And I didn't know what I wanted to do at 28 as well. I knew I wanted to be a musician and I wanted to promote and I wanted to do all this stuff. And four years later, I'm doing videos, living my best life. So remember, anything is 100% possible. Believe in yourself. So to anyone who is really trying to discourage you, keep this in your pocket and by your heart. Just in case someone tries to shoot you down and tries to hit you where it really hurts, your passion, your heart, that tip will protect you. Make sure you keep it by your heart. Number six, you can do this without their support. Friends, family, and even people I work with in the industry looked at me insane. When I told them that I quit my job and I wanted to do this full time. There's no money in Derby. That's what I was being told. No one will pay any amount of pennies for your videos. But your son is so young. You need to work. Understand that you have the power to change any situation. Finding the silver lining in situations can be difficult, especially in scenarios where we want or need encouragement. Finding out that I was able to chase my dream and people weren't able to shake my confidence or will is a very special feeling. Once you feel that feeling, that feeling of no self-doubt, it's the most powerful mindset that you can honestly ever, ever, ever have. And honestly, some of this stuff can really be changed by your own demeanor as well. You know, that confidence, that no self-doubt. You kind of heard it throughout the points. It, everything is grounded off of these basic steps. Have confidence in yourself. Have confidence in your ability. Believe in yourself. Even if you don't feel like believing in yourself, understand that no one's going to get you to the position that you want to be at unless you put the hard work into it. People can set you up beautifully, like uh, Kobe Bryant alley -oop to Shaquille O'Neal. You're Shaq. Your teammates are your friends, your coworkers, people giving you a helping hand or a word of encouragement or something like that. You are Shaq. It's up to you to grab it and create an unforgettable highlight reel. 
slam it home, point to the crowd, be proud, say thank you, have confidence in yourself. And finally, number seven, you can't please everyone in life. You can't, you really just simply can't. Remind yourself about that every so often. Your dream and your vision wasn't meant for everyone. It wasn't meant for, it wasn't meant for you. When you realize the beauty that you can make, like, you know, like when you can, when you can make this beauty, this dream, a reality, and you start your journey and you leave the naysayers behind, and you find yourself deep in the forest of holy crap, what did I get myself into? And also the swamp of, I think I could turn back, but don't, do not turn back, believing yourself. Believing yourself because you can't please everyone. If you go back, it's going to be the decision that you will regret, especially after walking so far. Why go all the way back? You're going to be walking back. You're going to see these reminders of the, the things that you had already crossed and walked. If you start the journey, see it through. See it all the way through. A lot of people quit right before they make a breakthrough. So when you feel like things aren't getting any better and you feel like you've been in a rut, that's you being uncomfortable. Being uncomfortable is the best and only real time you can grow spiritually and emotionally. Don't take it for granted. I know I wasn't going to make my dad happy when I told him that I quit my job. My dad had been working since the age of 12. He had to. He had to support his family. When my grandmother, his mom, passed away, my grandfather went into deep alcoholism and died at a pretty young age. And my dad was left there to pick up the pieces when my grandma died. At 12 years old, he walked to work, stopped going to school. You know, so... And, and, he, and he had his first child when he was 15, and he's been pushing and working ever since. Now, he's a very successful uh, route creator for one of these warehouses. Supervisor, my man works a specific amount of time and gets paid a bundle, but handles a lot of crazy stuff that now I realize that I'm dealing with. I'm like, holy moly, how do you deal with these high-pressure scenarios? And I'm glad that he's telling me now. You know, although I didn't go to school, I quit working in, in the warehouse that I was a lead in. My dad was disappointed and a bit angry, but his anger wasn't going to stop my motivation. Now today, he sees where I'm coming from, and that is a victory all in itself. And this is an extra tip, tip number eight. This was... um. So it's kind of, kind of one that we all experience, and I wanted to tell you about it. Sad as it is, often when you undertake something huge, everyone will oppose you. If you fail, they will say, I told you so. But if you succeed, then everyone will praise you, as if they were really believing in you all along. It's not pretty, but it's true. And don't let that get to you. Humans are you humans are pretty weird. You're weird, I'm weird. It's all right. Just grab your dream and just run. I want to thank everyone that tuned into the Team Hit Squad podcast. Before I let you go, I want to give the quick shout out to all the sponsors, Anabolic Skate. Check them out at anabolicskate.com. When you use your code word hit squad TV, you get yourself 10% off. EmpireSkateShop.com. When you use hit squad TV, you get yourself 10% off. RollerCon.com. Get your passes to RollerCon July 17th to the 21st in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. All the scrimmages, all of the parties, all of the great derby people go there. Is it July yet? 
Multiskates.com for the skater by the skater and Big O Tournament.com. May 3rd to May 5th, some of the best teams from the entire world will be at Eugene, Oregon, competing against one another. Three days, three tracks, all of the Derby. That's all I'm saying. All of the Derby. I want to thank you all for tuning in. You have been a wonderful group. My name has been Lloyd Knox, and I hope that some of this advice will be able to help you and propel you into a better life. That's all I can wish for. Y'all have a good one.